What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Popular Video Games here. Chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now, in today's video, we're going over Grand Theft Auto 6, Mission 4, in my Grand Theft Auto 6 prediction series. Go check out the other episodes in the playlist in the description below. Now, this carries off from episode 2. You can check that out on my channel. Judy walks in the house with her mother running and grabbing and hugging her tight. Now, she screams, saying, wasn't that Janet's car on the news? Judy looks at the TV. Judy then looks back at her mother with saddened eyes and says yes. She also questions where is Robert and Louis, her two brothers. Judy's mother said they're out with friends. Enough about them. What happened? Judy says that it all happened so fast. I just remember running. Judy says, look mom, I'm real tired. Please let me go to sleep. Her mom says, okay, if you need anything, just let me know. And then Judy's mom just looks at her with a sad look as Judy walks up the stairs. Judy goes in her room and lays down in the bed with a flashback of the sexual encounter she had with one of the gang members of the Devil's Gang. She also couldn't get the rape out of her head. She also remembers the argument her and her friends had before the incident happened. She just thinks of it as so stupid and she remembers the most important thing was just having them there. She tried to sleep but wakes up in a cold sweat. And in the middle of the night, she runs and takes a shower, letting the water hit her face. With a feeling of relief and safety upon her, Judy walks back to her room, constantly thinking of what one of those devil gangbangers did to her. She said, what type of name is the devil anyway? You know your gang is just pure fucking evil. Then she walks into her room and looks back on her nightstand and sees a card the officer handed her. She picks up the card and lays back on her bed and looks up at the ceiling and says it's time for a change. The days pass and Judy is accepted after a constantly applying to the police academy. With a background in law, she was an easy pick. Now, she actually begins the police academy. She gets up one morning and just completely runs downstairs, hugs her two brothers, and tells her mom she's ready to go. Now, they all hop in the car and drive her off to the police academy. Once they arrive, they get out and look at this big, huge building with all these cadets walking around. Judy was smiling just as high as she could be. Then her mother gives her a hug. Her brothers join in and then she leaves for the front entrance. She walks in to the building and notices people weren't as friendly as she might have thought. One guy told another kid, if you do not back off, I will knock the hell out of you. And guess what? When we become cops, I'll still bitch you around and slaps the guy. She looks in complete horror and tells the guy to leave the guy alone. The dude walks off and the other guy runs into the distance. Now Judy was just completely shocked. Now she walks in, finds her dorm, puts her stuff there, and then proceeds to go to her class because she is a bit late. Now once she gets to her first class, she actually sits there and remembers how her and her friends were in the same type of high school class, but now she's trained to be a police officer. Now, Judy notices a bunch of talkative girls, and she remembers a time with her friends laughing at her becoming a cop. Now she smiles and says, look at me now, bitches. Now, a guy named Shanks comes up and says, my brother saw you at the one gang shooting. Judy completely gets surprised and looks up at the man and he says wait a minute it killed all your friends but how did you escape do tell Judy just stays quiet with the most horrific look on her face as Shakes keeps poking fun at her the next thing you know another girl named Sasha tells him to fuck off and leave her alone Sasha says she knows how it feels to have those bastards take away someone you care about now Sasha also slaps Shanks because he tries to smirk at her because of what she said. Shanks then backs off. She gives Judy her phone number and says to call her if she's having any trouble. Judy smiles extremely hard because she is now glad that she has a new friend. Sasha walks to her seat when the teacher comes in. He says, see the person next to you? They're going to be laying, bleeding, dying somewhere because some gang banker, one of them devils, one of them entities, and one of them angels wants his colors. The class gets quiet. The teacher says, this isn't Grand Theft Auto. Once you're dead, that's it. It ain't no redoing shit. This fucking bastard runs the street and then he just kills people. These fucking assholes don't care. Hell, they don't care about themselves. I've been in the force for 10 years. You're lucky to make it to two years. 
when you're out there it's you and your partner if one of you is off both of you die if you're on point you might die so you might as well be ready for the worst he said now are you ready the class stays seated and stays quiet he says good now it's time for me to prepare you for hell let's get started now first we work on hand combat now he takes the class to the gym room where mats are on the floor for training now he announces shanks versus judy everybody looks now shanks walks up with a smirk on his face and judy walks up looking very meek and calm now shanks basically rushes her she harley quins his arm and flips him on the ground now he is sitting there screaming as his arm hurts the class is shocked the teacher is laughing his ass off now the teacher says fights over and judy lets go the teacher asks where did you learn that she said she took lessons when she was young but stopped everyone in the class surrounds judy cheering her on shanks is angry and walks off saying i know i seen her somewhere and i swear i remember all right y'all this has been mission four now this mission was basically called a hero arises now remember some of the gta missions are going to be short some of them are going to be long i try to base it off how the game is actually all set up so guys if you enjoyed it please put a like share it around also if you haven't seen my flash series go check that out i actually am up to episode 13 and that 13 should be uploaded after this episode is anyway y'all thanks again for watching peace out and talk to y'all laters also make sure to follow me on twitter because i also give dates to when i'm going to be you know uploading these things peace out